so if you install GP to mesh, you should have this panel on the side. And then if you hit E, you should have this uh, pie menu, and you can do add blank. And now you have this grease pencil object in the scene. And uh, I have canvas turned on uh, because I checked this one here. And then by default, um, it's a pen brush, but it's an ink pen rough. And you can draw like this, just normal grease pencil here, right? And then if you hit E again, you have these few options, but um, there's a GP to line mesh, and then you can convert to a mesh like this. And we, if you hit Shift Z, you see the wireframe. So it, ch it changes to a 3D mesh from grease pencil. And the, you can do that by default. It's a low res uh, set to low, but you can change it to mid. But by hitting this one and then hit E again to mesh line and now it's more resolution higher I am set to low by default you can, but you can change it from here but if you want to change it more detail you can hit menu or from E and uh, GP to menu and you can change more de details Thick, thickness and uh, decimal values, resolution, and everything. Yeah. So this is how you can change it to grease pencil to mesh. And the, I will show you some other options. I will just randomly draw. And the <clears throat> yeah, this GP to line mesh changes to uh, mesh, but it's a line. You see this vertex here, right? And the some other options I'm just randomly drawing but uh, you can convert to uh, curves so you have these curves from grease pencil right and then you can also change to a uh, curve path so it's a path curve but also um, can draw like this and then there's a curb mesh so it's a curb but it's a mesh so you can tweak around like this and maybe you, you want to convert to a mesh after you like the shape <coughs> so these are the options and the there's another one called a GP to screw and in this case, I will go to front view, and then uh, if I draw something like this, you can screw it with hit E and GP to screw. So it's going to screw from this uh, Z axis. So it's good to draw from the front view. So now it's a 3D mesh, but it's screwed from Z axis here, yeah, right? And then again, I will go to front view and I will draw something like this. And then there's a GP to square screw, which is the four corner of the uh, geometry, but it's a screwed in Z axis. And the in this panel, and um, if I go from front view to draw again, there's a screw option in here, which is 16 by default. But for example, if you hit the 6, you can screw it. But now it's a 6 um, times of the screw. You can change it from here. Right? Yeah, so these are the options. And the also, I will just you can change from a pen brush to a fill brush here with the hit hitting E, and then I will change to fill. But I will change to a material view so you see the color. The color is not a big 
big deal because it's going to be a mesh anyway but it's visually easy to view it so it's a film mesh but I, you can convert to a film mesh so it's a single surface mesh here right <clears throat> and uh, also there's a solid mesh yeah so it's going to push the uh, mesh and it's going to be a solid mesh <coughs> in this one you can change the distance if you go from the panel and the by default it's a one meter and uh, if you hit from here it, you can change the distance by changing the uh, value here and then you can apply it so now it's this thickness but next time you do it you know just do it like this and then if you hit E to solid mesh it keeps the distance from the value you just set to and it's going to apply so this is another option and the I'll just draw something like this and there's also a round mesh you can hit E and round mesh mesh so it's going to be a round type of mesh here you can change the distance here and uh, you can change the shape like this and the resolution you can make it smaller so you have more dense mesh yeah so you do like this and hit E and round mesh you get something like this <coughs> so pretty quickly you can make a mesh using this option here right sorry mesh but you know the grease pencil you have four options by default it's the origin the canvas is set to origin but a 3d cursor you can change and a shift to right mouse button and snap to the geometry or move it in the space and then you can draw like this but also other option uh, you can change it to surface now you can draw onto the surface here and then hit E to GP to um, mesh You make something like this and hit E to solid mesh. It's going inverted, but it depends on the angle of the surface. But you can change it from here to like this and then hit apply. Right? So you can easily draw like this and then hit solid mesh. Yeah, <clears throat> so this is another option. And the last three, there's a stroke. Stroke is, um, I, I can change it to pen. And the, yeah, and you can draw from the stroke. You can connect to the stroke. Yeah, and then you, you can hit E and then line mesh. So this is easy to make three type of shape right yeah so if you set the stroke you have these options from all points end point from the first point first point is going to connect just from the first point the all point is going to connect all the all point all the points but if you change it to surface you can draw onto the surface but also from here you can change the distance from the surface and then you can change it to line mesh or solid mesh or whatever you want to so with these options it's really quickly you can make the shape um, you know if you want to make a house you can draw like this and the hit E and square screw it's a already house shape and then maybe add blank and the using a film mesh you have set to 
surface so you can draw a window something like this and hit E and solid mesh this time I should go positive and uh, yeah you have this as <coughs> window it's very quick right maybe you can have a chimney shape by this and then square screw and the oats smooth oops yeah in this case I should draw from the origin yeah right and then like this and then square screw yeah yeah so we have this chimney and you can place it on the side so it's super quick to model kind of rough shape but the <coughs> yeah using a grease pencil to model the geometry so this is the gp to mesh tool and hopefully you enjoyed this one yeah so that's it well thank you